Hello again. Now this time I'm going to talk about another theme that crops up fairly frequently in crosswords. It's another one of those things that makes them feel ever so slightly outdated now and again because a lot of people don't know this stuff and obviously back in the day it was common knowledge and it's largely military. It crops up quite a lot. There's a lot of things that come up as answers. Battles, um, possibly specific people, names of ships, stuff like that will come up as answers in, in, as, in crosswords and there's nothing you can do about that. If you know your history you can get them. I mean, we're talking about things like hussars and Cossacks and hoplites and all these, you know, strange old military units, things like that as well. And obviously, as with lots of stuff you don't know, get any letters you can from the, uh, from the wordplay, Google stuff, it's fine. You know, there's no harm in not knowing all these things. But there are a couple of bits that crop up as very common bits of substitution and you really need to know those because they're very frequent and you won't be able to get into a clue run off the end of the board again. Soldiers make agreement to fall back. Seven letters. Soldiers make agreement to fall back. Now, as with every type of clue, find your definition, find your wordplay. Lots of this is equally likely. Soldiers is quite likely as a definition. Soldiers make is not, so that's the end of that one. It's either soldiers or the other end. To fall back, equally plausible. So at this point, you've got two quite compelling definitions, one at either end, and there's a tough choice to make, but when you know that lots of the military stuff is out there, this becomes a bit of a giveaway, because there are a few things this can mean, and a few things that can also substitute for the same thing, because soldiers, in this case, is the letters RE, the Royal Engineers, and there are a few units famously known by two letters, um, Royal Engineers, uh, the Royal Artillery, obviously you've got the SAS, stuff like that. So this is one possibility of the word soldiers, and obviously RE, to fall back, suddenly you've got very likely seven letter words starting RE, lots of those, you know you're on the right track. Make agreement, so this is the breakdown, make agreement, treat. Not often used as a verb these days, but treat as in to make a treaty, to make an agreement, retreat, to fall back, soldiers, RE. It's that simple. Now, as I said, there's RE, which you need to look out for, and there's RA, and yeah, I suppose SAS, although I haven't seen it much. Those three are the most common, and they can be indicated by a variety of things. Um, soldiers, men, once again, a bit outdated, a bit sexist, but your, you know, your men, put your men into the field, the RE, the RA, that is a very common um, substitution. So you've got men, soldiers, unit, something like that. The other one, which has all those definitions and a couple of others, is the TA, the Territorial Army. That can also be men, unit, soldiers, but it's also because they aren't full-time soldiers, they're volunteers. It can be clued by part-timers, volunteers. Dad's Army, was that was all about the TA. I've never seen that used, but... Volunteers and part-timers definitely can be TA. So you've got RE, RA, SAS, and TA. And the other thing, really important thing you've got, is the ranks. Lieutenant, Colonel, Captain, General. They're all very commonly indicated by abbreviations, which makes them very useful for crossword setters. So you could have any of officer, um, person in charge, something like that, and you could all you all you get from person in charge or officer is these two letters or three letters: lieutenant, colonel, captain, general. There are a few others, I think, but they don't spring to mind right now. Um, it does work the same for the navy. Um, there's a few ones that aren't in the, in, in the navy, in the navy that aren't in the army, but generally LT, COL, CAP, GEN. You can see how very useful they would be to setters. Uh, the only other thing to note really is the navy stuff, SS obviously which is used for ships uh, and that can be indicated vessel, boat, ship um, I think that's probably it but watch out for that SS and obviously the English equivalent HMS because SS is uh, American and the last one not the last one, these are never comprehensive I do warn you GI the GI is in America as part of the units makeup GIs, I've not seen SEALs used in the same way, but GIs are the American 
you know, one of the terminology, one of the terms used for American troops. So you can have that for men, unit, etc., as well, or a man, because that can be singular. You can be AGI, you can be GIs, plural. So once again, very useful for setters. And that's largely it. You've got, like I said, a lot of things you'll see as answers. A lot of maybe slightly bits of obscure terminology. There's a thing called a Maxim gun, one of those rotary multi-barreled early machine guns. A Gatling gun based on the same principles and GAT, um, obviously, which is the only place I think that RAP and crosswords really cross over. Um, but a few bits of terminology like that you'll need to look out for. But the really common ones are those. RE and RA for Royal Engineers and Royal Artillery, very, very commonly used, and you'll see soldiers, you'll have no idea what it's doing there, and you'll be trying to think of ways to get it into the answer, and it's just those two letters, or in the case of ranks or officers or people in charge, those letters, and sergeant is another one of those, just forgot that. But um, yes, and they are, of course, non-commissioned officers, which is occasionally used as a distinction for some reason. But generally, just be aware, soldiers, men, unit, you're not talking maybe about singular things in terms of units, you could be talking about military terminology. So keep an eye out for those and happy solving.